In 2007, I came out with a video that was kind of unique at the time. It was entitled Reliable Retrieving, and it was unique because I uh, went through the entire process with one dog showing all of the initial reactions. Uh, that method is still used today, so I'm going to release that original DVD in four segments entitled Hold, Fetch with the Toe Hitch, Fetch with the E-Collar, and Transition to Ground. Here we are with Bodie. We're going to make the transition to the ground. And this is deceiving. The dog does such a good job up on the table that many people think you can just put him down on the ground and start killing birds over him or start throwing bumpers and he's automatically going to comply. And that's absolutely not the case. So uh, what we do is uh, we want to have control over the dog. So I've got him snugged up to just about 18 inches of a uh, chain or I've got a cord here with a brass snap on it and that's tied to uh, an eye bolt through a little 4x4 four four piece of uh, plywood here. So uh, we're going to just almost like starting over from, uh, from day one but it goes real fast, okay? We're going to have him reach for a couple inches, maybe a couple inches more, then get him picking uh, the bumper uh, off the ground. And when he's doing a pretty good job there, I'll unsnap it and then ask for him to, uh, to make you know, two and three foot retrieves. So that'd be a good place to, uh, to stop after day one. So here we go. What do you fetch? Hold. Good boy. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Hold. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Good boy. Hold. Give. All right. What do you fetch? Come here. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Good boy. Hold. Give. Fetch. Hold. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Hold. Fetch. Hold. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Fetch! Medium. Good boy. Hold. Hold. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Medium. Hold. Give. Good boy. Fetch. Hold. Hold. Give. Good boy. Fetch. Fetch. Medium. Hold. Give. Give. Good boy. Give. What do you fetch? Hold. Give. Good boy. Fetch. Hold. Give. Good boy. Fetch. Hold. Give. All right, let's unsnap him. Let's ask for a couple two and three foot retrieves. What do you fetch? Come here. Hold. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Come here. Hold. <laughs> Give. Good boy. No. What do you fetch? Come here. Hold. Hold. Now if he were to drop it, I'd command fetch again and give him the collar. Good boy. Give. Good boy. What do you fetch? Come here. Hold. Good boy. Give. What do you fetch? Come here. Hold. Give. Good boy. Last one. What do you fetch? Come here. Hold. He doesn't have a good hold on it. Fetch. Come here. Hold. Fetch. Come here. Hold. Hold. Give. Good boy. All right. That's pretty good. Okay. That's all we expect today. And uh, I'll bring him out tomorrow and I'll do the same thing. I'll start with him on the chain, asking him to make short retrieves and then off the ground. And then I'll unsnap him and I'll start making two, three, four, five foot retrieves. And then we just build on that. Okay. Good boy, Bodie. Good boy. I've had two sessions since last filming and he's doing a pretty good job. Uh, he's made a few refusals and that's to be expected and when he does we do the same thing here that we did on the table and that is if he were to make a refusal and to come back to me I would walk towards the object and when I get somewhat near it I give him the collar and command fetch again. If that still wasn't enough I might try medium and if, and if he still was reluctant to pick the object I might pick it up 
and just kind of keep it from him a few inches, just like we did on the table, or maybe just throw it a few feet, have him bring it to me. And if you're having a lot of those setbacks, if it's happening a lot, then, uh, then it, it means that you're going too far too fast and you just need to back off and uh, have the dog make shorter retrieves before you start making those longer ones. So we'll give him a few short ones and, uh, and then we'll just start building from there. What do you fetch? A little bit of collar just to get him started. Good boy, hold, fetch, fetch. Good boy, hold. Good boy, good boy. Give, all right, that's, that's my fault. What do you fetch? That was no collar. Good boy, come here. Hold, fetch, come here, hold. Good boy, good boy. Don't rush as far as taking away from you. Good boy, give, good boy. What do you fetch? What do you, come here. Come here, hold. All right, good boy, hold, fetch, hold, come here, hold, fetch, hold, hold. Give. All right, longer one here. What do you fetch? He doesn't have a very good hold on it. Oh, good, good boy. Readjusted. Good boy, fetch, fetch, come here, hold, fetch, fetch, hold, come here, hold. Good boy, give. All right, let's try a quail here. Bodie, fetch. Well, collar, come here. Good boy, hold. Give, good boy. Fetch. Well, collar, come here. I'm not giving him any to get him started. Just when he's right by it, he's like a little reluctant. Hold, give, good boy. Fetch. No collar. Good, no collar. Good boy, come here. Good boy, hold. Hold, hold, give, all right. He's doing well enough. I'll probably work him another session or two and then I'll start shooting birds for him out in the field. All right, fetch him up. Come here. All right, good boy, good boy. Good boy, give. Oh, um, so Bodie's doing a great job on the ground, but do not think you're ready to actually go out and start killing birds over him. And that was a mistake that I, I made in, in 2007 with the original video, is I went to the field too quickly. So when your dog is, is, is doing this good, before you actually go shooting birds, uh, you should do a lot of dead birds in the yard. And then you should do a lot of freshly killed birds in the yard. And then you should do a lot of cripples in the yard. Then you go to the field. And I would suggest before you actually start shooting birds over them, you just take a dead bird or a, a freshly killed bird or a crippled bird, you know, maybe in that order, out in the field with you on a walk. And, and then, then when they're doing really good in all of those circumstances, then you can go and you can start shooting birds over them. And so we're teaching retrieving here. This has got nothing to do with pointing. And so before you actually allow your dog to start going back and, and pointing birds for, for, for you to kill, I would suggest that initially you just go out with some, with some, uh, some birds in a bag and a gun and ideally in really low cover and, uh, and then when your dog is, you know, 20, 30 yards out or something and can see you, get their attention, throw a bird, they're going to see it and probably going to follow it, and then shoot that bird so that it falls in, in a short cover. And, and then they sh should just go out there and just pick it up. And give them, don't start with the stimulation, give them a moment to, to, to commit to it, you know. And, uh, and then when they pick it up, you know, have them, have them retrieve it to you. So do that a few times. Uh, before you actually return to the bird field where you're letting them point birds and, and kill them. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck with your dog.